Okay, great. So this is us with the LEDs on. <laughs> yes, to make you guys think that uh, this is a different setting, but not really. We have the same shirts on. Yeah, I just took my hat off and put my hair up so that I would look different. <laughs> like Will Reagan uh, on that two night show we went to years ago it was like a two night album oh, yeah. recording they For wore the simple, same clothes simple gospel yeah well we're doing the opposite yeah we're recording two videos and trying to make it seem like it's different By now changing the lights there will come a day when these lights are here how can i oh wait, yeah, wait, wait, wait i got an idea too keep keep talking okay there will come a day when these lights are no longer blurry because we're going to get Better cameras. But yeah. We're just using a MacBook camera because, like, we just figured out how to do this in the first place. I'm going to Google best Amazon webcam. And the one with the most <laughs> five star reviews yep. wins. So, wait. <laughs> oh, see? I kind of like the green. Yeah. Maybe we should keep green then. It kind of fits this, doesn't it? Yeah. Is he kind of green? Nah. He's like a red feeling, isn't he? Or blue. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. What's wait. the primary color? Yeah, let's see. I would oh, say let's blue. just match the primary color to this, whatever this is. I would say blue. Blue tends to be the primary color. But we were, oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, we were just at blue. So wait, dude, that's cool too. So if we want like red, we got like pink or something. What else we got? Oh yeah, look at that. Got some blue going on. I really like the white. So what, blue or green? Make the call. Me? There is no green. one else. Um, You're calling that green. I kind of feel the green okay, this time. We're going green. It's it's no it's question. Different, but We're it's, going. it's here. Okay. Well. So. Without further ado. So this is last time we showed you Hank Roost. Now this time is Jim Roost, and we actually recorded Jim Roost first before Hank Roost. So um, <clears throat> so we uh, uh, JT was our commissioner, who is uh, Jim Roost. If you if you didn't know that, he commissioned us to uh, record this for him. And um, this is it. JT is my brother, by the way. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. JT Henson. JT Henson. If you don't know, if but if you're someone, if you're if you're Leah Henson watching this right now, I'm sorry that I made that specification. But if you're literally any other bozo who doesn't know my brother, JT's a great guy. He's a teacher, PE teacher. He's a great guy. Um, but he is a very <laughs> different person than me. I am tall, lanky, skinny, That's weak. Let me see it unathletic <laughs> long hair <laughs> can grow a beard i have that over him um uh these kinds of things uh, compared to jt i am quite a different I, he is strong short i mean like eh, like 5 11 5 10 not really short but compared to me and he's bulky as a man like, he's like 250 240 somewhere in that range right now maybe Probably 240. Right yeah, he now. probably went in a fight against Bradley for sure. Yeah, he'd be, he would destroy Bradley 100%. <laughs> Bradley thinks he's got. Yeah, Bradley, if you're watching this, uh, we are calling a duel between you and JT or else. And we already know the, the outcome. <laughs> but we want to see. Prove you. us wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He's raging right now on that bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, JT is just this specimen of a human. I mean, he's a monster athlete. Um, gosh, if he. If he hadn't torn his ACL his senior year of college, there's no telling what that kid would have done. But he wrestles with me under the under the name Jim Roost, and I'm Hank. We're the Roost Boys, which will yep. come out later. We're going to do a video on that one. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. We might as well release these in the order we record them. Yeah, I guess so. It doesn't yeah. matter. But yeah, Roost Boys was the first thing that we really ever recorded. Like you know, As like, far as like a, a song that we were like, we're going to put this out and we're going to use it consistently. Yep. And, and it was the first song that BWA heard, our first audience. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so without further ado, this is my brother's song, Jim Roost. No, if you remember mine, mine was super minor, super dark, kind of like a different kind of tempo. That feeling that like this slow pulse, but this is a totally different thing. Yeah. I would love to hear what people would describe it like, but I imagine this like big boulder man, like walking. Put it in the comments. What you imagine. All right. So let's, let's give it a go and you take it from here. All right. Wait. Oh, and two, yeah. To, to echo what Craig is saying, this is what's happening. That's what's happening in the background. You know, the song, uh, those chains were actually recorded in my garage. We just found some chains in my backyard and we just slung them on the ground and recorded it with an SM57. And um, and then these stomps are 
sadly not our stomps, just some awesome that, stomp samples that oh, I found. Oh, you didn't use the garage? No. That yeah. might be in here somewhere. Yeah. No, but yeah, and here's a big stomp. So. Oh, wow. There you go. I never noticed that. See? Yeah, see? Okay, so we'll let you listen to a little bit of it and probably just stop us at the B section and then go from there. The patented rooster. Oh, yeah. Bruce. I feel like the green fits. Yeah, like the green looks good. Yeah. I think Craig recorded this at, at his house or wherever he was staying at the time. The, the guitar parts. I'll tell you about it. Yes. This is pretty short. We can probably just let it keep going until the end right here. so wide right there. Yeah. And there's nothing in the middle, it seems like. Yeah, it feels very wide. Oh, it, that bass. Mm -hmm. And then just in the middle again. Yeah. Oh. I forgot about some of these uh, electrics I've got in here. Did you add some electrics? No, no, no. Um, I just forgot oh. about some of them that existed. That's part of the song to me. Big stomp. Yeah. So. Jay, uh, the Jim Roos theme is much shorter than the Hank Roos theme. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Yeah. I didn't notice that before. Um, interestingly, so let's scroll back up. Scroll okay. Back up. Oh, yeah. So yeah, here. looking at the A section, okay, this first little A, whatever you're seeing up there, that is – that riff – inspired the song most of these songs the roost especially the roost boys songs started with a riff like this and one take in the left and then one take in the right several yeah, things sideways yep. so but yeah that's how it all started oh and actually he did four takes yeah, yeah there's I actually on it. <laughs> there's actually four so takes there i was I was finishing up college. It was my last semester, and I decided, like, I need to record a riff that fits my brother because I knew when I graduated college I was going to start wrestling again, at least at some point. And this is what fit him right here. No, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just kidding. So this, I had a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cherry red Stratocaster that I loved dearly. From Waynesboro. Yeah. And I recorded this riff on that. This is the last thing I will ever record on that guitar. What a crazy thought. Um, and it was the last thing I, uh, seriously, the last thing I ever recorded. I recorded it in Cleveland in my apartment with my dear friend, Cord Rawls. And I just put, hooked this, like, or put a, just a terrible microphone in front of my amp. And I recorded sure this riff. PG something. PG 58. It's yeah. like an SM 58 ripoff. Essentially. Yeah, it just has a couple other little like EQ dips and cuts. Yeah. And boosts. So, it, so the, the electrics in this song are not as crisp, especially the, the, the one that's in the green here. That's the Stratocaster. The one that's in the blue is my Telecaster. So, yeah. This is the strap. And then it, it sounds so telly. So different. Yeah. Kind and, of in the left over here. And then, Got this Texas thing going. Yeah. We recorded this at, I think, at, the, at at your house, right? Yeah, maybe so. Or at least if... No, no, no. I recorded it at Joanna's apartment in Nashville. Oh, okay. Okay, Oh, so. something else is coming in. Some just, some just dirty chords in there, you know? So, but yeah, so anyway. you recorded this in a lot of different places. Yeah, and, and it was just being pieced together slowly. I was working on this, and I brought this thing to Dimitri, and I said, let's... I cannot figure out the drums. Oh yeah. And the problem with the drums is they're asking you to do something simple. But Dimitri and I often run into this problem where we just want to go really hard. We we think we want to we need to be complicated and complex, but uh, some of these songs just want a stupid kick, snare, kick. Yeah, so like That's all the drums are doing. Just kick and snare. 
And then a tom. Doom. Here it is. With the snare. Doom. That's the tom right there. Oh, you can't see it. We're in the way. There you go. And then here's the B section. They they just add cymbal in there. It's the simplest thing. And doom, doom. That's, that's later, yeah. Dimitri yep. recorded these drums for me because I was at a loss. Yeah. So the drums just are so simple. I think, yeah, sometimes you just, yeah, you can't overcomplicate it. Yeah, it's it's a crazy thing to learn, but at least we've learned. It's it. funny. I was just looking at this bass. It is a MIDI bass. It's it genuine. is not a real bass. I it knew. sounds like Seinfeld. <laughs> they sound good together, though. It does sound like Seinfeld. <laughs> that's really that's hilarious. I never thought of it that way. And then there's a second bass part right here. Echoing the uh, the guitar melody in this section, which is kind of like that. It's kind of like a harmony part. If you can't hear it, he kind of actually does. Wait, let's hear what he does right there. It's something. Really yeah, that's that's pretty cool. No, no, no. And then this other bass takes over. Trying to match the drums there. Oh, you guys haven't even heard that part yet. I think we stopped it before yeah. then. So. No, they actually always heard it. Oh, yeah, yeah, they heard it. I don't know what this one is. Oh, I guess I, I don't think I left them in there. I think I left them out. Ah. Let me hear them. This is it. Put it in there. It's just so silent. So some of the coolest parts of this song are the tellies to me. Yeah. Too. Like I just think they sound so Western, you know. So like. So yeah, you got one telly in the left ear, or left speaker, and then this other one doing this thing in the right ear. Word. It's fun, like when you're in the process of recording things like this, you're not thinking of what you're doing much. You're just yeah. doing it. Another, another telly. Just, it's just telly city. And he's got. Dimitri, explain what uh, what you got on the channel strip. Okay, so. Um, Give them uh, an example of what it sounds like. Without so, like all this those. is an SSL. Um, on the bus for all the guitars, it's like an SSL EQ just to just to give it a little bit of analog sound, and then a uh, uh, just a, a simple compressor, a compressor not doing a lot of work, and then this is a, a stereo width like widener. It gives it a little bit more width. Just it's very subtle, but like one of these guitars, um, like this guitar, like that guitar right there. Um, it actually, I actually added some like effects. So this is it without all the effects. Oh, wow. And then it's a vert. This is just like a virtual pedal board. It's super old that Waves has, but it, it has some cool sounds on it. So it gives it like a really wide, wide thing. So it does. It opens it up. See, and, and it actually is like an amp simulator too. So there's okay left amp and right amp. So oh, it's, it's just left and right. It's got a tuner on it. Pre these are all the presets that you go through so but that's what's given that telly that crunchy sound uh and then yeah we let you guys hear this the melody here in the b section they sound great pretty cool Oh, it's something we didn't talk about. Ah, uh, the intro. Yeah, so like, here's the iconic rooster. And then... 100 proof! Jim! Roost! That That's is, an iPhone that recording. That is also an iPhone recording if you watched uh, the other one uh, with AT. But yes, that is JT. 100 proof! Jim! Roost! Just to make it sound like really trashy, I think I put like some... Oh gosh, look what all I've got going on over there. Let me just turn Holy all that... Yeah, let me just turn all that off. 100 proof Jim you hear that Bruce wait yeah listen again for heck 
listen again, everyone, to how much uh, air is coming into the iPhone microphone. 100 proof! Jim! <laughs> Bruce! I, I literally cut it up. So, like, you could see right here, this, <laughs> this thing right here, that thing, <laughs> that is like a... A blow of air that I have turned down by 16 dB, 16 gain. Wait, wait, wait. Let's let's see. Let's see what that sounds like with no 100 proof. Oh my god. Sorry, wait, wait. Yeah, let's do this one too. Oh, wait, whoops. Oh, you gotta press in. Wait, I just do all that. 100 proof, Jim. See how much of that? I mean, I could have left that in there, but. Uh, I, I did it. <laughs> we needed to get rid of that. We wanted to feel like look at JT something right there. recorded in a studio. Yeah, look at That's that, JT man. JT right there. That looks like Ben Brown. <laughs> I don't think you can get any bigger. Oh, actually, it can. Oh, my God. Yeah, check that out. That's what... Wow. Yeah, this, look at that. Look at that that's, sound that's wave. That's called a sound wave as that. represented by a digital format. That's JT's voice right there. We're looking at it. A representation of it, I suppose, right? Yeah. And I mean, I don't know what the line in the middle is supposed to mean. But you're going all up and down it, buddy. <laughs> it's uh, It shows you, like, uh, the stereo image. So, like, oh, left and right. Yeah. What? what? I never yeah. knew that. Yep. And see, like, the waves are, like, kind of going crazy. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, hey, hey, someone smarter than me, tell us. Why is there a line and why does the sound wave... I, I, maybe it's just a line of, like, the center point of the wave. Yeah, maybe so. The center point. So it's going... Yeah, it's crazy when you're trying to line up waveforms. Like you literally have to watch where the rise is and the fall is, and make sure that that they they connect together. That's so, another level. Um, but yeah, there's the rooster. <laughs> Just a random rooster so uh, sound that we found. You might want to re-enable all of his, uh, all of his. Uh, oh yeah. Channel strip. Okay, settings. yeah. So this is it with all his crazy stuff going on. Hundred proof, Jim Roost. With the reverb. 100 proof! Jim! Roost! Oh, I mean, it's such a change. 100 proof! Jim! Roost! So there it is. And oh, I, oh, uh, yeah, go ahead. I love that you put the roost right on the downbeat of the next measure. 100 proof! Jim! Roost! I did, yeah, I forgot that I did that. So yeah. Jim! Roost! roost. Right there, yeah. And that's just because of the pacing of this audio message he sent us. Yeah, I had it, to line it, it up somewhere. Somehow worked work. out great. Um, oh, wait, I don't even know what. Oh, I just have some, like, risers going on in the, like, effects. So, like, just these, like, I think they're literally, like, dubstep risers. Oh, wow. Had no idea. Oh, and look. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I love that feel. that bass subtly yeah he's just barely hanging in there which is a midi bass yeah let's see what let's see what is going on with this midi bass <laughs> look if we let's see what it is you want to dive into my midi bass? oh wow it's a, a it was a sampled yeah something i t i'm telling Picked you rock bass the majority the majority of the things that i played there on this is. song Picked rock bass. Oh, and what about this organ up here? It, didn't you play this on the keyboard I as well? I guess about 90% of this song was recorded before I got to you, wasn't it? I guess. I came to you with a song and you helped me formulate it. Yeah. So here's the difference, guys. I think this is worth talking about. <laughs> this song. Did this fart? No, that was, oh, it was, it the, was the sound of the I'm leather sorry. chair. Sorry, toot or poot for those of you who don't use the word fart. <laughs> Katie Beck. <laughs> yeah, she's a, she's a pooter or a tooter. Did you tell? <laughs> yeah, yeah, she says too. Uh, so, this this entire song, the majority of this song was recorded on s inferior audio equipment. I was using a not so great audio interface with not so great microphones and not so great pickups on my guitars, but still, it sounds decent. However, if you compare the sounds of the guitars on this song to the Hank Roos song, which we recorded here at Dimitri Studios. Dimitri has invested in gear that makes the recording process and and continually we're, we he keeps getting better, but this song was recorded on inferior gear, but you can still make it sound good, and that's the deal. Even though it sounds different and it's a, a little bit more work, like you really don't have to spend the thousands of dollars to get what you want. Yep, absolutely. So 
the fact that the other songs are going to sound progressively a little bit better is great but there's no trash on this song for being yeah because it, it has so much character to it and because because he worked with what he had you know like didn't you make this organ on your on your keyboard on your laptop too no i had oh, a, okay you i had a, had a, a tiny little two octave keyboard i was using <laughs> listen to that i think i put some distortion on that too thank god that's what yeah there's some definitely some distortion happening on this uh ships it's, EQ. it's such a quiet little organ yeah, it's, it? I, can you even hear it yeah. yeah i think it's there it's definitely there <laughs> In the pictures of my mom, she asked what I was doing. This isn't that. <laughs> Wait, here's the best part. Here's the best part. <laughs> <laughs> I left all that in there. I couldn't oh take it out. Oh my god. <laughs> like... You can't hear yeah, it, but yeah. it's there. <laughs> Like That's I'm all no, you need. I've never been a true organist, and I never will be. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I'm not that great either. But Wait, you gotta put it in there. <laughs> it's like it's the most uncomfortable instrument to play. There's no dynamics to it, you know. Like, <laughs> imagine being a harpsichord player. Like, oh yeah, the worst. No, you literally like, dah, 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 dah. like, it's just so different. It's a and different way a different, of thinking yeah, about we, music. We live in a different life. Anyway, continue on. I think that's, I mean, there's not much else. I mean, I mean, if we look at the sound effects, I guess we could start to break that. Oh, can you can you please explain what a drum trigger is? Because I'm still not super clear on that. Okay. So we we recorded these drums, which are right here, all this, all these blue and green things that you see. your studio. Yeah, we recorded them on my keyboard, but uh, they we use like Logic's. You know, Logic has like built-in drums or whatever. But what I did was <clears throat> I converted those into audio files, which you see there. All those blue things are audio files that I converted from MIDI to audio. And then a snare trigger. And then this green thing you see here, which are MIDI notes, they're, uh, they are actual. Uh, I added in a sample of a real snare right here. Wait, let's see if you can hear it. Wait. Oh, wait, this That's is the, the kick. kick. So let's go to the snare. So look, if I play it soft. Wait, it's not working. It's supposed to work. Oh, well. But um, essentially, th that's a real, like, I think it's a black beauty, honestly. Wait. I, uh, mint. Wait, let's see. Let's see what it is. Oh, no, it's actually just one. Just one snare. I didn't. At that time, I think I was just learning what it is. So it's literally just one snare sample of someone playing at one volume. Uh, ah. I, I think it's a black beauty. But what happens is, is every time uh, it, there's this thing you can do where it will like analyze the audio file, like of any snare sound or any sound that you want. And then every time it sees an audio file, it will put in a MIDI here and it will play whatever sample that you want it to play. And so uh, all you have to do, I think on Logic, you just... Uh, uh what control command d no that's not it command option. shift d option command d i don't know oh well just forget i said any of that but that's essentially what i did and uh yeah so like let me do it without any triggers so this is the drums without any triggers and that's that's just logic's logic like sound. sounds and then here's it with the kick trigger, which is a real kick that was sampled somewhere. I think it was by Paul Mabry, who is like an awesome drummer. Here's with the snare. Set to change. So, but yeah. Yep. So it just gives it a little bit more oomph and some realistic sounds. It's like a real, you know, like it was actually like recorded. Human. Yeah, like a human playing it. So it's pretty cool. But... But the cool thing about this song is the majority of it, besides the electric guitars, were was all recorded on a keyboard. The bass, the yep. drums, uh, the organ, it was all recorded on a MIDI keyboard. And that's not the case for most of the other songs we've done. Yeah, this one is very unique in that sense. Yeah, and what, 62 tracks? Yeah. So the other one was 70, 70. So it's it's pretty close to the other one. So um, This has been the Jim Roos theme. That's it. Yeah. There it is. Look at it. Stare at it. It's a cute little 
Look at it. Cute little idea. Look how colorful. This is the work of of primarily uh, me putting down a track, and then Dimitri making it something worth listening to. <laughs> well, and yeah, if you, if you've been seeing all our stories of us like recording stuff, and like Craig shredding on a guitar or something like that, this is the product of all of those yeah. things. And we thought it would be a good idea to get it out to the world this way. Cause you know, not everybody will go to Spotify or whatever, look at it. Maybe you guys will just see this here on yeah. Instagram or whatever, you know, you don't have to watch it. I mean, you can just, it's more for us probably. I mean, look at that. Look at those like little bars. Look at, look at that fade. That's a, that's, that's a, a that's a natural fade. That's a default fade. Wow. <laughs> now, Duration 30 milliseconds. If you are a noob Let's and give you it don't, a swipe. If you don't know anything about Whoa, oh. you're doing some stuff. I messed it up. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Look at that look, swipe. Oh, we're swiping. We're swiping. Oh. That's what I'm talking. <laughs> Come on. Wait, let's see what else we got. We got a slide. I'm sorry, you were gonna say something. No, no, no. It's it's not worth it. Let's, now. let's check this out. This is way more. Oh, that's a slide. Okay, let's go back to the fade. I'm not liking it. I want to see the cut. Give me the okay, cut. Okay, here's a cut. Okay, here we go. What? I don't understand. Something Are you saying wrong. is it cutting in the middle or something? Oh, it's oh, just, it's just, a, it's just a hard cut. I kind of like that. I like it too, but it's kind of abru yeah, abrupt. Yeah, 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 yeah. It makes you feel stinger. <laughs> let's try that out. Here we go. Okay, get out of here. Okay, here we go. Let's check this out. What? It's even faster, maybe. It's almost left. Okay, wait. Yeah, that's better. Oh, that feels yeah, so the better. fades. The fade just makes you cope with the change. Well, look, we hit this about the same time, 27 minutes. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>